Jeremy Ellis is blind and ready to drive. Other people say it was like the coolest thing they've ever done, so I want to do this really bad. Ellis is one of 200 blind and low vision students at the National Federation of the Blind's Youth Slam summer camp here at the University of Maryland. Today, they're test driving a new vehicle that lets them cruise without having to see. I got this. <sighs> There you go, man. It's going to be awesome. All right, no Bubble donuts. In front of it. No, right. no, no, no flipping. Are you serious? No flipping. He can wheel around this parking lot because of the engineering department at Virginia Tech. The National Federation of the Blind defined this competition called the Blind Driver Challenge. So they sent this uh, announcement out to many, many uh, universities and research lab out there. We're the only university that actually took the challenge and developed the vehicle. Sensors mounted on the vehicle gather real-time data about the surrounding terrain. A computer translates that data into a voice command, which then gives the driver instructions through a set of headphones. <laughs> this is cool. Having already tested the sensors, today the engineers are focusing on how quickly the buggy drivers act on what they're hearing through the headphones. Uh, mainly just listen to the system and uh, you remember the vibration? You feel that emergency stop. We're learning that it, like under a second they're getting to where they need to be. Uh, for, just from uh, small tidbits that I've looked at, uh, they're really happy with how fast they can get to where they need to be, and so are we. I took a spin in the vehicle myself while blindfolded. Right in front of you. Whoa, there it is. And it definitely took some getting used to. Once you start trusting the technology, it feels, you feel pretty confident about where you're going. Yes. You don't have any sense of where you are, though. I have no idea how, like, how far we went. That's exactly it. And that's what, as sighted drivers, it's hard to judge, because we're used to uh, different means of judging our distance. Yeah. And the blind drivers seem to just more generally trust the system and have a better sense of their motion, although it's still a new experience for them as well. So can sighted drivers really expect to share the road with their blind counterparts anytime soon? Probably not, but that's not necessarily the point of all this anyway. You know, people don't think blind people uh, can do much of anything. Uh, a lot of people don't. Um, there's a 70% unemployment rate among the blind, so we have enough trouble uh, convincing people that we can do just the ordinary activities of daily life that people do every day, even though, of course, we can do those activities. Danielson wants to get the word out that if blind people can drive, they can pretty much do anything else as well. Cool, man. Thank you. I want it. <laughs> How much is it? Can I have it? Yeah, it might need a few summer jobs. A few summer jobs. I'll get, I'll get as many. All right, great job. We're For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.